Hey there, meet Peter Paul Rubens, one of the most renowned artists of his time. Born in 1577 in Germany, Rubens later moved to Antwerp, Belgium, where he spent most of his life. Now, let's take a glimpse into his fascinating life experiences and how they influenced his stunning works of art. One of Rubens' notable creations is the vision of Saint Hubertus. Painted between 1615 and 1630, this masterpiece reflects his deep religious beliefs and his ability to capture the mystical. It depicts the moment when the patron saint of hunters, Saint Hubertus, had a divine vision, forever changing his life. Another remarkable artwork is Daniel in the Lion's Den, created from 1614 to 1616. This painting showcases Rubens' knack for storytelling and his interest in biblical narratives. It depicts the courageous young prophet Daniel, who is protected by God when he is thrown into a den of hungry lions. In Bacchanalia, painted in 1615, Rubens delves into the realm of mythology and indulgence. This lively and vibrant masterpiece portrays a chaotic gathering of the Roman god Bacchus and his followers, celebrating with joyful revelry and music. Moving on to Venus and Adonis, from 1614, Rubens explores the theme of love and desire. Inspired by classical mythology, this painting depicts the goddess of love, Venus, pleading with her lover, Adonis, not to go hunting, as she foresees his tragic fate. Romulus and Remus, painted between 1615 and 1616, tells the legendary tale of the founding of Rome. It showcases Rubens' ability to capture both action and emotion, as the twin brothers Romulus and Remus are discovered and rescued by a she-wolf. The Holy Family with Saints Elizabeth and John the Baptist, painted in 1615, is a sacred depiction of the Virgin Mary, Joseph, and the infant Jesus. This piece reflects Rubens' devotion to religion and exemplifies his skill in capturing delicate and tender moments. Now let's turn our attention to two exquisite portraits. Portrait of the Infanta Isabella, from 1615, showcases Rubens' talent in capturing the beauty and grace of royalty. It immortalizes the young Spanish princess with a delicate touch. In a portrait Antoon van Dyck, from 1615 to 1616, Rubens pays homage to his friend and fellow artist Antoon van Dyck. This portrait exemplifies his ability to capture the essence and personality of his subjects, revealing his admiration for his colleague. Lastly, we have All Saints and Satyr and Made with Fruit Basket, both from 1614. All Saints is a breathtaking altarpiece, showcasing Rubens' skill in composing grand and detailed religious scenes. Satyr and Made with Fruit Basket portrays a playful and mischievous moment between a satyr, a half-human, half-goat creature, and a young servant girl.